What are you doing worrying about what people think about you so much? A lot of you young gentlemen caring so much what the world thinks about you, what your girlfriend thinks about you, what your parents think about you. What happened to, you know, taking your nuts in your hand and being like, this is my life, I gotta make some stuff happen. I talk to guys all the time, okay? Instagram, over the phone, email, and a big thing that I see in today's men is that they're just weighed down by guilt and shame. And they're getting stuck listening to the voices in their head. Like, look, bro, when I'm alone, I know that I can't always trust these thoughts that are in my head. I know that, like Nietzsche said, you should doubt every thought that you have indoors. And not like a schizophrenic crazy person, but you should realize is like your mind, if you don't get control of that sucker, man, it will plague you for the rest of your life. It'll make you suffer and it'll make you feel like complete garbage. And so, you know, a big, a big shift that happened in my life a paradigm changing thing was when I realized I can't trust it. Okay? Because I know, look, well, some days I'm happy, some days I'm sad. Some days I'm, you know, I'm feeling emotions, other days I'm this. How do I go to bed at night and I'm just having a great night and then I wake up in the morning and I just feel like garbage? That's not right. No. And that's, that's deceiving. Okay? You are not your thoughts. Okay? You're, you're the actions. You're how you live. That's what you are. You're not this thing upside in here that's chattering all the time. And so you need to either learn how to silence it. And if you can't do that, then just learn that you should not trust it. And that you should get used to tuning it, fine tuning it like a guitar. And when it's off, you tune it back. You say, listen, behave. You're not going to serve me today? Well, I'm not going to listen to you. Okay? I've, I've like gotten really good at this too. Not as in a bragging, I'm not telling you, I'm saying I've gotten good to be a, a personal coach. I sort of have a meta level of understanding. I can see when my brain is trying to bring me down. When it says stay in bed a little bit longer, what's the point of getting up today? You should feel shame by your previous actions. It's like, no, I shouldn't feel shame for that. Because you know what? That's in the past. The past doesn't even exist. And if it was that bad, then it would be on a record or I'd be in jail or I would be dead. Okay? Listen, more than ever, men are meant to feel shame and stuff and we're feeling it every time. I had a night where I went out, I got a little drunk, okay? And I might have acted a little bit foolish. I might have talked to a bunch of girls. I might have danced on the dance floor. And, uh, you know, the next day, the initial thing that I thought was to feel shame. Did I misbehave? And then I went to reevaluate myself and I, I, I asked myself the question, well, look, let's simplify this. Did I hurt anyone? No. Did I, did I hurt anyone? No. Biggest question. Okay. No, I did not. Did I ruin any relationships with myself or other people? No. Simple as that. And even if I did, it's like the level of shame these days, the bar is so low. It's like you do this, you feel shame, your brain starts working. Some previous action, you, you know, you cheated or something. You start living with this regret. You think you, you fucked up. No, man, move on. Forgive yourself first. And uh, stop living like that. I thought the police were coming, hearing the sirens. All right, but look, men of the past, men of the past wouldn't feel the same amount of shame that we felt these days. We can't have a bunch of young men feeling this way, is what I'm saying, okay? You're going to live a life of greatness, there's going to be some tomfoolery, there's going to be some buffoonery, there's going to be, you know, days that you're like, man, that was kind of stupid. Stop taking life so serious and laugh it off. Okay, you know, we also have to be a little bit more wise, though, in, in, uh, in being true to ourselves. Okay, you ever hear the, the saying, you got it, like a, a wolf in sheep's clothing? No, 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 you got to be a sheep in wolf's clothing. Okay, everyone out here doesn't really care about you as much as you care about yourself. 
You need to be a sheep in wolf's clothing. Stand for what's right, but sometimes you got to be like a wolf, man. Sometimes you got to be out here, and uh, it's very important that you don't get weighed down by what other people think and held and shackled and feel like you're obligated to do a certain thing. Okay, parents, loved ones, sometimes friends, your girlfriend, it's like you're in control of your life and your life is going to waste away and deteriorate if you don't start calling the shots. Okay, you got to be wise, man. You got to be wise. And look, even in the Bible, it's like I'm sending you out amongst wolves or something like that. You must become, you know, as shrewd as serpents and as innocent as doves. You got to be shrewd. You got to be wise and stop caring what so many people think about you because that's a certain way to become a failure, to uh, live a half life, to, to not win any battles, just to, I'm telling you, it's miserable existence. And it's very easy. The moment that you try to go bigger, the moment that you try to break out of this confinement, this society, the moment that you try to live your life and actually chase your potential, you know, you're going to get hit with so much judgment. You're going to get hit with so much, well, well, this, well, that, well, what if you can't do it, man. You got to do what you know to do, all right? And be true to yourself. Be like a sheep in wolf's clothing, okay? And I'm telling you, if you don't, then you just blend in. You conform to society. You know, you, you don't make any progress. You just, you become nothing. You just fade out. Mediocrity. Don't do it. Don't do it. Stop listening to the voice inside your head. You know what you got to do. You got to get serious about your life. Stop trying to, you know, a lot of guys say, well, I just wish I could love myself. Fuck it, man. Start doing the things that you know to be good. Start living in the light. Build up yourself. Train yourself. Coach yourself. Stop letting this thing sucker you into, stop letting it hold you down. And naturally, you're going to feel more confident. Naturally, you'll just feel better. You'll start feeling better about your life, about yourself, in your skin as you get older and you start increasing your status you'll feel like you get control over your life, okay? But if there's something in your brain that you know you can't stand, confront it, man, confront it. Figure that shit out. Why do I feel like this? Oh, well, I'm too worried about what they think. N enough of that, okay? Don't live like that anymore. Stop betraying yourself. Stop letting yourself get down by that stuff. And then go forward in confidence. That's how you become a man. You know, you fight all these little battles, you handle it, you control your space. You make something of your life. All right, stop the shit, man. All right, that's it, guys. I just, some feelings. There we go. Let's have a great day. Be blessed. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.